Good morning. It is uh, 9.30 Scoop 21.32 on Memorial fuel, Day. Leaving level at 32 tons. Uh, I am... Um, about 10, 11,000 light years out of the bubble. Doing some major exploring here. I'm on my way to... Uh, an undiscovered black hole. I'm just gonna pick up all the planets and everything else. Um, in between here. And I got the voice of uh, ED Discovery with me. Scan Floia Arm MT PD 6 01. Sidarsky Class 3 Gas Giant. Gonna give us some updates on what we're finding. plan today other than um, we're gonna be exploring the Ploia uh, Erm region <laughs> and see what we can find. Uh, this is pretty high off of the galactic plane. So, Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 01 D. Rocky body. Shouldn't be. Too many stars up here. But still enough to. Keep us busy. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 01 C. Rocky body. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 01 B. Rocky body. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 01A, Rocky Body. As you can see, there's no stars here. <laughs> at the galaxy map to see how high up we are but we're pretty actually I can check that on uh... oh, here I think we're like at, uh, Air MT PD 6 2200 3 gas giant 2200 light years uh, up got a few things to scan here so we'll be busy for a little bit with this system um, a lot of the stuff out here hasn't been discovered so, um, most of the stuff here is gonna be a new discoveries 
Um, some neutron stars, maybe. Maybe somebody's picked up some neutron stars on the way out here, but... This isn't really... Um, a major highway going anywhere all the way up here. Scan Ploia Air MMT PD 6 02E. Rocky body. Scan Ploia Air MMT PD six zero two D. Rocky body. Well, I didn't get to take advantage of the, um, Bonus weekend before I set out here. Thank. Uh, I uh, trimmed off some weight, some uh, engineering, and I updated the frame shift drive to the New engineering, we're getting 65 light years out of it now. Scan Cloia Air MT PD 6 02C, Rocky Body. It's the uh, same anaconda that went out to a Beagle Point. Uh, late last year and uh, return to uh, Rocky Body. Um, let me return to uh, bubble with uh, earlier this year. Gotta be careful with that. Uh, close to it. Scan Ploia Air MT PD 6 02B, Rocky Body. Scan Ploia Air MT PD 6 03, IC Body. See what we did get. We got the star, we got that guy, this guy. Working on this one, so we got this big uh, gas giant left, and then uh, that one there. We 
We're only three jumps away from the black hole. It's gonna be awesome. Kind of a random thing finding that, but. <clears throat> Scan Chloea Air MT PD 6 03A. I see body. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Alright. Scan Chloea Air MT PD 6 03B. I see body. Uh, I do avoid any impacts. So let's have a look at the galaxy map and just see where we are here. Next cluster down here is the bubble. Uh, Colonia is up here. And we are kind of high up and climbing. Our goal is to get up there. We got other friends out exploring in this area. Well, not in this area. He's way out of it. So we're going to see what's uh, up here. There should be a number of neutron stars and other little goodies. We've already... Collected lots of data, so it'll be interesting to see how this all goes. Uh, while we're doing that, Sink and zirconium. I'm going to put that high up on our list. Germanium, uh, arsenic, and pol arsenic and polonium. I may have traded off a lot of arsenic for the. Um... Scan Ploia Air MT PD 6 04 <laughs> Sidarsky Class 2 Gas Giant. Keep an eye on what materials we have and not, and at some point. Um, Scan Chloea Air MT PD 6 04G. I will I land body. on uh, something to pick up the stuff that we need the most. Scan Chloea Air MT PD 6 04H. I see body. Mm. 
You know what, let's uh let's work on the closest ones, shall we? Again on materials. Scan Floia Air MT PD six zero four B. I see body. Um, don't really you. Um, FSD injection aerials. You never know out here when you're gonna need it if you get uh, locked in to something. Uh, we get a neutron star and can't get out. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 04 A. I see body. So I'm thinking uh, um, once we get to that black hole and then just start exploring around here, we're just gonna turn off the scan Floia Air MT PD 6 04 C. I see body. Turn off the cone jump stuff so we don't jump into something we can't jump out of. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 04 E. I see body. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 04 D. I see body. Lots of moons on this one. Germanium, yttrium. Niobium. All stuff we're gonna need. Scan Floia Air MT PD 6 04 I. I see body. Uh, that's the frame shift drive. Two most important things sink. Now, many of these things I expect to pick up just in the process of Scan Floia Air MT PD six zero four F. I see body. Just in the process of um, uh, collecting materials, anyways, but some of the rare ones needs to be. I need to carefully select a place to pick them out.
This uses materials. Our manufactured materials, not raw materials. Can't do anything with that. Uh, Olympics is just iron and nickel. Life support is iron and nickel. Uh, SRV refuel, sulfur and phosphorus. All common stuff. Not too worried about that. I'll we'll just get picked up in the process of standard mining. This is the last one here, right? And as you can see, there's there's only one, there's only one planet, or only one system close by here. And then that's the one that we're going to. It's 62 light years away. Only one system within 20 light years. MT-PD-6-05, Water Giant. Huh. Water Giant. Hmm. This thing. Hyperspace to system Chloea Air Mel TPD 6 0. Star is in class. Arrived at Chloea Air Mel T PD 6 0. First visit. Jump distance 62.3 light years. stuff here too. First thing on a stupid charge to think. Scan star Ploia Air Mel T PD 6 0. Neutron star. Habitable zone 1009 to 2014 light seconds. Age 9492 million years. Kind of annoying when you don't get enough. Drive boosted by four goes. times. system is also a neutron star.
Alright, I might just want to pop in at a neighboring system here. Um, just to refuel. I, I don't know what's going to... Well, well, we can look around on the black hole and see if there is a system close by that I can fuel that. Um, I should get to the black hole with sufficient fuel to get out if there is a system I can jump to. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 01. Sidarsky Class 3 Gas Giant. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 01E, Rocky Body. I have the fast scan on the scanner, not the long rate. I have to get. sort of up close and personal uh, more moons scan Floia air mel t dash pd 6 dash 01 a rocky body scan Floia air mel t dash pd 6 dash 01 c Rocky body. Uh, there's not a lot of info. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 01B. Rocky body. Not a lot of information we're gonna get out of the EON. ED discovery on these little moves. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 01 D, Rocky Body. Sixty-two. Might as well just power off the stuff we don't really need. I mean, technically, I don't need a shield either, unless I want to land. Alright, but I'm gonna leave it up. I 
it'll save us some fuel on the super cruise. Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02, gas giant with water based life. Well, we almost overshot that one. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 F, rocky body. Not a loop of shame if you're just turning around to scan something else. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 E, Rocky Body. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 A, Rocky Body. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 A, Rocky Body. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 B, Rocky Body. We'll just take care of those and then see what we get. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 C, Rocky Body. One last one. Floia Air Mel T PD 6 02 D, Rocky Body. And then this is the last one. Get that as well. Gonna Keep an eye on the repair level on the frame shift drive. I haven't had that many neutron stars today, so not too bad off on the damage. Can easily be repaired. Did I crank up the... No, not yet. That's one of the reasons why I want the... Uh, uh, 
got zirconium here high on the list. Oh. Wanna get the premium. Premium stuff for the repair uh, unit. Scan Floia Air Mel T PD six zero three high metal content body. Isn't anything around there? to be a lot around here either. That has me worried a little bit. There's one. Okay, I think no matter what, I can make it to this thing. Let's head off to this neutron star. Prepare for hyperspace to system Floia Arm JOOD 7 0. Star is in class. Warp drive engaging. And then. Uh, from there on, we can jump on to that fuel star we just saw. Fuel. Arrived at Floia Armjo OD 7 0. First visit. Jump distance 255.6 light years. Star Ploia Armj O-OD 7-0A, Neutron Star, Habitable Zone 2677 to 5342 light seconds, age 8978 million years. attempt I've ever done. Alright, go in and get 
get another win. I think the good news is that this is a uh, fuel star. We're gonna head over there and fuel it up. It's, only, it's gonna take a couple of minutes. But at least we'll be uh, fully fueled up before we head into the um, into the black hole, or not into the black hole, but into the system with the black hole. So, premium here will give you double distance. That is not bad. I can get me 120 light years, but I only have five of those, so I'm definitely going to have to Um, look at getting some arsenic and polonium real fast. Still got a long ways to go, but this is going to be the safest way of, of of getting there, I believe. Or halfway there. Time to slow down. I 
was kind of hoping that this one that looked a little bit promising could have been a... Not Earth-like, but it doesn't look like it. Instead, we're just gonna get another... Um, metal content body. Gotta go all the way in because I need to scoop fuel up for this one. We're down to about half a tank and I need. I don't know what I'm gonna need to get out of that system with the black hole. It seems to be kind of all by itself there Sand at the top of the galaxy. MJO-OD7-0B, red main sequence M star, habitable zone 57 to 114 light seconds, age 8978 million years. I think we'll pick up these guys on the way in. If I can. Scan Floia RMJ OD 7 0 B5. I see body. Scan Floia RMJ OD 7 0 B 5A. I see body. This looks like a twin system. Oh, that's a triple system. Go pick up these three and then we head in to the star and fuel up. We can catch the rest of them and jump into the black hole system. I'm not really gonna start doing anything else of, um, uh, I'm not gonna dig out the SRV until after we've done the black hole and gotten our way out of there. Scan Floia RMJ OD 7 0 B2, high metal content body. Scan Floia RMJ OD 7 0 B3, Rocky Ice Body. Scan Floia RMJ OD 7 0 B4, Rocky Ice Body.
Alright, it's refueling time. I just don't want to get stuck out here and have to call a few rants. That's That's not cool. So I know that on a quadruple jump I can get from this neutron star to the black hole. I just don't know if I can... I'm not actually sure if I can double jump my way out of there. Even. Getting more and more worried now. <sighs> I'm not even sure if I can get out of there. Refueled 15.68 tons of fuel, leaving level at 32 tons. Like, yeah, I'm just scanning everything. Scan Floia MJ O O D 7 0 B1. High metal content body. further and further away. It's gonna be a bit of a trip. I guess... I 
guess the best way to see if I can get to the black hole is to not use the neutron star routing when I go in. Because if I can get in without using the neutron star jump, then I can also get out. Alright. I knew there was gonna be one of these. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to see if I can route my way to it. Uh, Scanned Chloea MJO-OD7-0B8. I see body. Without the uh, cone boost. Scanned Chloea MJO-OD7-0BAA. I see body. Have a look. Passes route. There's no way to get there. And if I can't get there right without the cone boost, and I can't get out. Even if there is a star that is kind of close, I maybe, maybe could have made it. I can't count on that hundred and twenty light years Um, okay, now it works. So if it works going in, it should work going out, right? So that is a white dwarf. We're gonna go for it. <laughs> I think what we can do is we can um can do a boost to jump to that white dwarf. And then we can see what the distance is. 
scan Ploia MJO OD7 0 B6. To the black hole, we should be able to get from there. To the black hole, and then from the black hole and back. Then we can either. Use that cone to get somewhere else. Right, I got a full tank of gas. We could fuel there, but I don't think we're going to need it. It's only 80 light years up there. I'm going to use almost no fuel to get there. Go. Prepare for hyperspace to system Chloea Air MUMD 8-0. Star is the class. Hold right, on I tight. absolutely hate white white dwarfs. They're much worse than neutron stars. Arrived at Chloea Air MU-MD 8-0. First visit. Jump distance 81.0 light years. Scan star Ploia Air MU MD 8 0 A, White Dwarf to Star, Habitable Zone 50 to 100 Light Seconds, Age 9434 million years. Uh, scan everything. Uh, you know what? No. Um. Black hole, here we go. Jumping to system Ploia Air AAAH0. Star is H class. Hold on tight. No idea what we're gonna find in here. AH0. First visit. Jump distance 57.9 light years. Scan star Ploia Air May A dash A H zero A black hole, age eleven thousand two hundred and sixteen million years. Oh, come on, man. Somebody's already been here. Well, I'm not traveling, um, uh... Uh, 236,000 light years to rediscover a discovered black hole. I thought I didn't find this anywhere, so I thought it was not uh, discovered. Alright. Uh, that's not where we want to be.
Let's uh, find somewhere else to go. Plotting failed. Uh huh. kind of unsettling. But I know we can get back here. said there's so few stars in here that it's almost Really? Let's go back here and um, prepare for hyperspace to system Chloea Air MUMD 8 0. Star is the class. Make it so. Arrived at Chloea Air MU MD 8 0. Second visit. Jump distance 57.9 light years. Never done this before, but we'll do it now. We're gonna double our jump range.
synthesis of FSD premium performed. Jump range 132. Turn all of these off. What I really wanted, I guess, was this one. Why is it not... why can I not get it to show up? Or is that where I am at? <sighs> All right. Why is it not exiting when I'm asking it to? Here we go. That will take me to the neutron star. That'll get me out of here. Jumping to system Chloea MJOOD 7 0. Starting class. Hold on tight. It's a little weird that that black hole was discovered. Arrived at Chloea MJO-OD 7-0, second visit, jump distance 81.0 light years. It didn't show up anywhere, so it's like it's not an EDSM. been there I'm gonna go here and refuel Jumping to system Chloea MPZND 7 0. Start the class. Make it so. Arrived at Chloea MPZND 7 0. First visit. Jump distance 255.4 light years.
nothing else around this one. Scan star Ploia MPZ ND 7 0. Bluish white main sequence A star. Habitable zone 823 to 1641 light seconds. Age 1640 million years. Refueled 22.48 tons of fuel, leaving level at 32 tons. I'm just gonna get all the gonna get all the stars on the map. This is why we're out here. Jumping to system Chloe exploring the C fifteen dash zero. Class. Hold on tight. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna have a look uh and see arrived at Chloe Air HU dash BC fifteen dash zero. First visit. Jump distance thirty three point seven light years. We can land somewhere and pick up uh Pick up something. Or FSD injection, which is arsenic and polonium are the two that are. Scan star Ploia Air HU BC 15 0. Orange main sequence K star. Habitable zone 183 to 365 light seconds. Age 11,636 million years. Scooped 1.46 tons of fuel. Fuel level is now 32 tons. I didn't check out the map here and see what we got. What does this button do? Okay, cool. Ploia Air HU BC 15 02, Sidarsky Class 1 Gas Giant. So I've been looking for moons with polonium uh, and arsenic, and preferably in decent numbers. Polonium, that's probably going to be over Scan one. Ploia Air HU BC 15 02A. I see body.
Scan Ploia Air Mage U BC 15 01, Sidarsky Class 2 Gas Giant. You play Eve Online? Uh, no, I do not. I have enough with the Elite Dangerous online. I think these are going to be mostly icy bodies. Scan Floia Air Mage U-BC 15-01B, Rocky Body. Scan Floia Air Mage U-BC 15-01A, Rocky Body. I thought EVE Online had been abandoned a long time ago. Uh, that's not a moon. Scan Floia Air Mage U-BC 15-01C, Icy Body. Scan Floia Air Mage U-BC 15-01B, kind of Icy Body. Stuck. But I'm going to go out of there. Scan Ploia Air Mage U BC 15 04, Sidarsky Class 1 Gas Giant. Scan Ploia Air Mage U BC 15 04A, Icy Body. Scan Ploia Air Mage U BC 15 04B, Icy Body. Scan Ploia Air Mage U BC 15 03, Sidarsky Class 1 Gas Giant. Uh, let's see, we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for germanium, but we're looking for. Niobium. I'm not really finding what I'm looking for here.
Scanned Ploia Air Machu BC 15 03 C, IC Body. See if you can grab all of these moons here as well. Scanned Ploia Air Machu BC 15 03 E, IC Body. Scan Ploia Air Machu BC 15 03 B, IC Body. Try and catch them all without getting too close to the planet, but. Scan Ploia Air Machu BC 15 03 D, IC Body. The last one is behind the planet. Ploia Air Machu BC 15 03A, IC Body. Uh, I don't know what the closest one is. So. Let's get out of here. I don't think any of these had, uh... Any of the stuff I'm looking for. Really. There's arsenic there, but it's... 1.6. I really want to get... Arsenic and... Uh, polonium all at the same time. That way I can get the two things I need the most uh, at the same time. Sort of. Scan Ploia Air Machu BC 15 06, IC Body. Alright, we'll go out and get this one.
Scan Floia Air Machu BC 15 05, Sidarsky Class 1 Gas Giant. Scan Floia Air Machu BC 15 05 D, IC body. Yeah, I think everything here is gonna be IC bodies. Scan Floia Air Machu BC 15 05 C, IC body. Scan Floia Air Machu BC 15 05 B, IC body. Uh, there's one more. Scan Floia Air Machu BC 15 05 A, IC body. Scan Floia Air Machu BC 15 05 E, IC body. All right. This one has polonium 0.3. Zirconium is also on my list, but uh, without the other ones, kind of pointless. Okay, so with um, all the stars... Let's recalculate and see what we got. 19 jumps. Red Giant. Prepare for hyperspace to system Floia Air Mess UND 7 1. Star is M class. Warp drive engaging. Arrived at Floia Air Mess U ND 7 1. Alright, it's not First that visit. big. Jump distance 35.0 light years. But then again, it didn't say super giant, it did say giant. It is big for a red dwarf. It's lots of uh, Scan lots Star of Ploia Air Su ND 7-1A, M Red Giant. Habitable zone 3,423 to 6,829 light seconds, age 8,726 million years.
scooped 1.61 tons of fuel, leaving level at 32 tons. All right, I see there's a few more viewers on stream. Welcome. I'm on a big exploration trip out here. Scan Floia Air SU ND 7 1A1. High metal content about body. About 10,000 light years out of the bubble. Scan Floia Air SU ND 7 1A2. High metal content body. I uh, just came across a red giant. It's pretty big, but it's not scary big. But it is uh, considerably bigger than this um, last G star. I'm looking for polonium and arsenic. Those are the materials I need the most right now. Scan Floia Air SU ND 7 1A3, high metal content body. They're pretty high up above the galactic plane, so the star density is pretty low. Uh, light pollution from the star rat maybe uh, I'm blotting out some of the stars here but uh, there really isn't um, and there isn't too many systems around here although we are managing to do now look at that the only Close the star is 41 light years away. Scan Floia Air SU ND 7 1A4, high metal content body. None of the systems able to be terraforming candidates, they're way too close Stand to the Scan Floia SU ND 7-1A5, high metal content body. Uh, of course, the last one is behind me. Not too far though.
trying to figure out if there's any point in landing in any of these. Number two has zirconium and niobium, both of which I kind of need. We can go and have another look at number two. Very kind of cool to land on it and see how big that giant is from... Uh, uh, only a few hundred light seconds away. Scan Floia Air SU ND 7 1A6. High metal content body. Um. So, niobium, zirconium. I need zirconium. Phosphorus, manganese. I need manganese and germanium. 355. All right. It was, it's landable, right? Well, it must be, yeah, of course it's landable. sunny side. So, rule number one, when um, landing on something this far out, <laughs> be really, really careful. We're gonna find a spot, gonna pick that crater. Right there. We're going to transfer all power to shields. Uh, gravity point nine. All right, so we're actually going to be a little bit heavy here. usually prefer uh, about half a G. Yes, I'm going slow.
exiting supercruise, arrived at planet, Ploia Erm Su-ND 7-1A2. Planet, Ploia over there. Don't. Our luck is we're at three thousand meters. It's a little windy. Thin atmosphere. surface temperature is like boiling <laughs> didn't mean to do that we're at, uh, gear deployed. it's a little bit high for landing gear so I just want to slow us down We're bouncing all over the place here. 270, 280, 290 is the crater. We'll take the SRV in that direction. I don't land Hi. on. Hey, welcome back. I don't land on planets with much. Keeping an eye on the rate of descent. Of course, the downside with the big vehicle like the Anaconda is uh, finding something flat to land on. Is it not? 
that easy. Noise. Noise. All right, let's see what we can do here. I will just put it right down. Holy. No. Michael Rosen noise. Minus 8.39. All right, Longitude there we are. Minus 45.99. Prepare for surface operations. Launch surface recon vehicle with starter loadout. Uh, okay. We already found rocks, which is pretty cool. And there's one to my left as well. Rocks. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they actually spawned this many close. rocks. I am surprised they spawned. Hold on. Uh, I'll go scoop and break. Collected three items of material iron. Collected three items of material iron. Collected three items of material iron. All right. She's going to be annoying. Collected three items of material ruthenium. Collected three items of material carbon. Collected three items of material ruthenium. Collected three items of material iron. Alright, so we're going about 270, 280 to get to the crater. And see what we can find. the big giant star there it is cool all right so there's the only direction where there is no signals is the one I'm driving We have not seen any signs of any other ships out here. It would be interesting to find a shipwreck. Just find a wreck with some uh, gold and platinum and narcotics. You know, it's gonna happen.
planet. The ship has been dismissed. We're all alone. Ten thousand light years from home. And my ship is flying away. Can't really see the crater from here. Maybe just a little bit of the uh, edge. Just gonna have a look and see what this thing has to offer. I'm not gonna be driving around for too long. It is a uh, uh, Memorial Day, so there's uh, things that needs to be done. All right, let's check out the signals in this direction. I kind of forgot what we came here for. Zirconium and Germanium. Niobium. I guess other ones we can find here. That's on my list of interest. Minerals. The other star in the system is like uh, pretty far away. I didn't want to drive there or didn't want to fly there right now, so I'm just gonna. Check out this rock for a little bit and see what's going on. can find something good. Um, phosphorus is not really useful. I'm having a hard time with the controls. I used to the PS4 and uh, collected three items of material phosphorus. This isn't quite the same. Collected three items of material carbon. Collected three items of material nickel. Collected three items of material nickel.
I guess the good thing about the collected three items of material sulfur. Uh, collected three items of material. Uh, high items. gravity is. Uh, collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material nickel. All the minerals did just stop. Uh, they just drop right there. You can pick them up by sitting sitting on top of them all. Low gravity planet and stuff goes flying everywhere. Collected three items of material carbon. Collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material iron. Collected three items of material iron. All right, here we go. We're gonna head towards, I think, the big crater. a significant signal source sort of straight ahead here. Uh, will it actually let me check the map? That will be of any kind of use. No, it doesn't show where I'm at. You can't really use the surface map to navigate. I don't know if anyone has done any studies on what kind of... Um... Planet has the most... Let's see... We're gonna move forward slowly... Collected three items of material manganese. Collected three items of material cadmium. Collected three items of material niobium. Collected three items of material nickel. Well, we're getting stuff. Not all the right stuff, but it's stuff nonetheless. Are you searching something? I'm kind of looking for polonium and arsenic. Um. Collected three items of material manganese. But uh, there isn't going to be any on this one. Which is, uh, it's all right. Collected three items of material nickel. Mm, what's this? Pull it off my horse. I didn't hear your answer. I'm sorry, I'm looking for uh, polonium and arsenic. Those are my two top uh, things. Uh, but I'm not going to find them on this planet. So uh, I'm looking for that. But I'm also looking for zirconium, which I believe is on here. 
and germanium which should be on here so uh, basically I'm just taking the SRE for a little spin before uh, wrapping things up hello I understand. All right, there's a big signal over here. We can't ignore this one. We'll try it out. It's an outcrop. Hard to find them. Yeah, polonium is usually like uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So. Um, They don't show up very often. Collected three items of material iron. Collected three items of material iron. It's just um, I'm gonna go and explore that other. Collected three items of material zirconium. Collected three items of material sulfur. I'm gonna go explore the other star in this system, but it's like 300,000 light seconds away, and I'm not gonna sit here and do that on stream. So I'm just gonna do another couple of rocks here, and then we'll wrap it up. Collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material carbon. Collected three items of material phosphorus. Collected three items of material nickel. Collected three items of material nickel. Come on, let's go. So yeah, I just need some uh, some of the jumponium, um, what they call it, jumponium uh, materials, uh, so I can boost my frame shift drive in the event that I get to somewhere where I can't jump out. Tricky flying around in regions of space with new stars or low star density is uh, you could end up uh, stranded. Almost got stranded today, but we managed to get out. Boost, you mean fusion? Collected three items of material sulfur. Um. Collected three items of material iron. You can do uh, what they call. Uh, 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 FSD injection. It will boost your uh, jump range by 25, 50, and 100 percent, depending on which one you pick. <laughs> and for this one, I need arsenic and polonium. Collected three items of material carbon. 
Yes, sorry. Collected three items of material manganese. Collected three items of material carbon. So I already had to use it once today to get out of a bit of a tight spot. I had to jump 80 light, 80 light years, but my range is like 64, so I needed a boost. Oi. I thought there was supposed to be a big crater over here, but... I guess it was pretty far away. Alright, let's check out uh, what's over this way. Engineers can make miracle. Yeah, um, um, after I uh, fixed up the uh, frame shift drive with the new engineering, I got almost an extra 10 light years out of it. So I'm jumping. I got a range of about 64 light years now. Should be able to get more, but I don't want to get greedy and I need to bring stuff, so. Collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material nickel. Crying face your stream is freeze a lot. Collected three items of material nickel. Alright. It shouldn't be. I'm putting out almost 5,000 <laughs> kilobits per second. I don't know if uh, Mixer doesn't like uh, such a high bit rate. Collected three items of material iron. Collected three items of material sulfur. Yeah, I'm not dropping any frames. I'm pushing out about 5k. So there isn't anything I can do to improve things for you on my end. I kind of need to push out that kind of frame rate because it is uh, uh, 60 frames per second and it is 1080p Collected three items of material iron. Didn't even see that. Collected three items of material nickel. Yep. 
There is another rock a little bit over to my left. Collected three items of material carbon. Well, I have gotten some of the stuff I was looking for, but not a whole lot. Zirconium, I like zirconium. Collected three items of material zirconium. Collected one items of material iron. Okay, iron storage is full. Collected three items of material carbon. Collected three items of material carbon. And that's okay. You'd think with that giant red star up there, it wouldn't be an issue with light, but we gotta put the eye beams on. Lots of interesting signals up here. Definitely got two different uh, types. different types of rock up here. That was not really the one we were going for. Mm. But I'll take it. Uh, hold on. Uh, iron, I'm gonna put it on the ignore list. Collected three items of material nickel. Collected three items of material carbon. Collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material nickel. Another one here, and then there's another one further over to our right. So that'll be due north, then I guess. Oh, lots and lots of good stuff. Collected three items of material germanium. Collected three items of material nickel. Collected three items of material manganese. Collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material carbon. Right, so the other stuff was iron and we're not picking that up because we're full. Um, okay, so here's what we're doing. Uh, Synthesis of repair, basic repair. Basic repair.
All right. This is pretty much jackpot finding one of these guys. Collected three items of material ruthenium. Collected three items of material ruthenium. Collected three items of material ruthenium. The yeah, metallic meteorites are usually full of stuff. Collected three items of material cadmium. Collected three items of material cadmium. Alright, we got nothing. I think we're gonna head in what I believe is the direction of the crater. Since I used some iron in repair, we can pick up some more iron when we find it. You would have believed the shields would do a little bit better job at uh, uh, protecting the vehicle. Alright, here we go. We got some rocks. Gonna be the last rocks of today. Alright, there's two of them. Collected three items of material nickel. Collected three items of material cadmium. Collected three items of material germanium. I will we'll take these two. And I'm gonna wrap it up. Strange, we're not finding any iron now. Collected three items of material sulfur. Collected three items of material nickel. Collected three items of material nickel. Alright, that's gonna be uh, it for today. We have traveled far. We have seen many things. Um, but I got some other stuff I need to take care of, so I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you all for showing up here. I'll try and be back later with some more, but mm, it's Memorial Day weekend, so who knows. Uh, so right now it's uh, game over.